Hi guys, welcome back to the Art of Server. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize the Grub Bootloader's theme to match whatever brand it is that you might like. Somebody from one of my previous videos had contacted me saying that they really uh, like the way my bootloader looked because it matched the theme of the, in that case, the computer that I have. So right now you're looking at my Grub bootloader with the Fedora theme applied and that's because I'm booting Fedora Workstation Linux, but this is also my HP Z840. And so today I'm gonna switch over to the HP branded theme for my Grub bootloader. I'm gonna show you guys how I go about doing that. And it just so happens this uh, Grub uh, theme repository that I use has a variety of different brands. And so if you wanted to kind of customize the look of your bootloader to match your hardware or the operating system that you're using. I'm going to show you how you can do that today. All right, so let's go ahead and boot up. All right, so here I am at the login screen. Let's go ahead and log in. All right, so I've bookmarked this repository where I get these uh, Grub themes that are that have all the uh, different brands and it's right here I will um, leave this URL link down in the video description so if you want to do the same thing you can find it there but let me kind of introduce you to uh, this theme here so if we go over the code uh, first thing you might want to check out is the preview folder because they actually give you a preview of all the variety of uh, themes that they have here so you can see for example, at the very top, we have an Acer theme. So if you click on that, that's what that theme would look like. Let's go back, check out a few. Uh, there's an Oris theme. So that's, uh, I think, a Gigabyte gaming related brand. So if you have a, uh, if you like that brand and you want it to match your computer, you can use that, br that particular theme. There is also like the Asus Tough gaming brand. If you wanted that. Uh, there are also ones that are associated with operating systems and not necessarily the hardware. So for example, you have the Debian theme for your Grub bootloader. Uh, there's also elementary OS, if you happen to use that. And of course, this is Fedora, the one that you just saw earlier. But today I'm going to be using the HP theme because this is an HP Z840. So this is the theme that I'm going to go for today. All right, so I recommend that you go through this preview folder, look at what they have, and if you see a theme that you like, just remember that I make note of that. And what you can do is go down to the themes folder, and there is a tar file of each of those individual themes. And so you just simply pick the one that you'd like. All right, so in my case today, I'm going to pick the HP theme. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then we'll just download it. And in this folder here, you'll see the download just completed as HP uh, parentheses one.tar and that's just because I actually had previously already downloaded that tar file just in case because uh, sometimes in the middle of recording you never know if your internet goes down. So anyway, uh, so once you download the tar file for the theme that you like, you can unpack this uh, file. So let me go ahead and just open up a terminal here. And I'm gonna create a folder called HP. And I'll go in here and then let's go ahead and unpack that uh, tar file. Or sorry, it's uh, all right, like that. Okay, so now I have all the files associated with this theme in this folder. Okay, so let me escalate to root because we need to be root in order to modify, uh, do the following modifications. So I'm gonna go into boot, uh, EFI, uh, capital EFI, Fedora, and then there's a subfolder here called themes. So uh, I'm gonna to want to put the, uh, the files that I just extracted into this uh, folder. Now it looks like I already have an HP uh, folder here so I'll go ahead and just delete that for now and uh, we'll just do it from scratch. All right so let me do a copy of that 
folder that I had just created, right? Okay, and I'll copy it over here. Okay, so now if I go into the HP folder, I have all the files uh, associated with that uh, particular theme, the HP theme. All right, now the important thing to note here is this file right here called theme.txt. And basically this is a configuration file for that theme. If you take a look at it, it basically points to all the various images and, and fonts and stuff like that. And so we're gonna want to make note of the path to that particular file. So it starts with that and ends in theme. So this is the path that we're gonna make note of. Uh, so I'm actually going to copy that path into my buffer. And now we have to configure Grub to point the theme to uh, that particular file. All right, so in my case, the Grub uh, configuration file is located in slash etsy slash default slash uh, Grub. In most Linux distributions, uh, they're probably going to follow a very similar uh, file system convention. So you will probably find it uh, in the, a, in the same location. But some operating systems might not completely follow the same file system uh, convention. So you might have to look up the documentation for your particular operating system to find out where the Grub configuration file is located. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna edit this file. And you'll notice down here that I already have a Grub underscore theme line that points to the Fedora theme that you guys saw earlier in the boot menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of that. And we'll comment out that because I'm going to switch this to the HP theme. So basically I just copied uh, and pasted that path to the HP theme uh, for this grub underscore theme line. Now, if you don't have a grub underscore theme line, you just basically type it in. Okay, so let me go ahead and save this. And then I have to run uh, a command to basically take those settings that I just edited in the Etsy default grub and actually output that to the uh, grub uh, configuration that's, you know, the runtime configuration. So in my case, it is located in this path. So I'm booting in uh, UEFI mode. And so I'm going to be outputting the configuration. So that's what the grub 2 mk config o for output is. And the path that I'm going to be using is uh, slash boot slash EFI slash capital EFI slash fedora slash grub dot CFG. So go ahead and run that. And you'll see this line and this is a good confirmation that uh, it's detected the change. So you'll see that it says found theme. And in fact, uh, it is pointing to that hp slash theme.txt file. All right, so once that's done, all we have to do is reboot to see that that theme is now in effect. So let me go ahead and close this and we will reboot. All right guys, so as you can see now, my bootloader has the HP theme to match my HP Z840. So that's it. That's how you can go ahead and customize your uh, the, the, the looks of your bootloader to match whatever theme it is that you uh, prefer. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video and it helps you out, please be sure to give it a like. And if you're new to this channel and you like this sort of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss my videos. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I've got the largest selection of pre-flashed IT mode HPA SAS controllers for your ZFS, TrueNAS, or Unraid builds. So go check out the link down in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.